so then on Tuesday, then I took all the shit out there again. And I didn't get out there till 1050 because I was disorganized. And so I taped up the candles and the keyholes and the concrete. And I mixed the kills. I'm going to be using the paint sprayer. Pardon me. Using the paint sprayer that we have used many times and that I was counting on pretty heavily. And it said how much you could thin it. And I'm pretty sure I thinned it more. That it just would not spray. It I got one time. One time. And then neither battery would push it. They immediately shut off. And I'm like, okay, something wrong. It may have just been clogged. I mean, I don't know. I got so angry. I just it sat in a bucket in soapy water the rest of the week. I came home, I'm just like. And so at the point that I finally cleaned that thing yesterday, um, it did look like the nozzle might have been clogged, but that could have not been the pro. I don't know what the hell it is. And maybe it won't work to spray my coating on. If it doesn't, I'll just use the big posh. I don't know. I have no choice. But I, try, I tried to push the kills through the big posh. So this all involves driving back and forth because I don't bring that with me. I wasn't planning to use it. And uh, try with the big posh. No. It would spray, but it would have taken forever. Because it just was too thick, and it said not to thin it more. And I, So I came back, and I got paintbrushes, and I just did it by hand. I spent the rest of the day. It took me, <laughs> it took me a really long time. Oh, I worked until 5.08 plus loading and cleanup, and I and it was hot, and I was absolutely in agony. Okay, so that was Tuesday. So Wednesday. <laughs> Wednesday, now the primer was done, and so I went out, and I went to put up the bridge stencils, and this was kind of funny, because I'm holding a yardstick and a, and a level that's not the same size, so I have to try to line it up. I like my nails, huh? Those are cool. These are the ones I got. And these are the ones I don't got. Uh, <laughs> and uh, anyway, I made it around. It wasn't perfect, but yeah, it turned out okay. And they're a little... Something in my calculations was a little bit off. And I admit, my brain is scrambled by like, is this falling through this way? Is that falling through that way? Is that, is I, am I tucking? Am I folding? Hell, I don't even know what I ended up doing, but I had a piece left over at the end. <laughs> That's okay. I mean, it's better than running out, isn't it? So that day, I, and then I did the yellow top, and then I did a peach stripe. And that should have got me down to, did I go all the way down to the bottom? Yes, I, no, not the bottom, but I <laughs> need the bottom, the bottom of the bridge. So I did the, the colors from the top down to the bottom of the bridge would be, which would be the ap light apricot, and then it should have been, oh yeah, the peach and the yellow and the, I don't know, I, I think the peach was just a flat out mistake. I, I was trying to, I don't know what I was trying to. So anyway, and then the three colors of red, orange, three levels of red, orange, and um, burgundy at the bridge level. And I did that. And and um, anyhow, and then I tapped in the coronas and the suns over that. And, but it was so, I'm going to tell you, it is so bright to work in the daylight, like real daylight, with, with sunglasses on. And I have very sensitive eyes to light, lights eyes that are very sensitive to light and uh, I just it's just incredibly hard to see what I'm doing it's just it seems like it should be easier but no one side is very very bright and then the other side is in full shadow and it's just friggin hard and so you know of course as I'm 
doing this stupid thing. Um, anyway, well, then, but I couldn't peel the stencils up yet because there is a bottom part. I guess I could have cut, I don't know, I couldn't peel it. 